Good evening. Sorry about the wind. I'm a bit loaded up at the moment to get my microphone out. I'm at Scar House Reservoir and I am walking right down the end. There's a reservoir at the end called Angram. I'm going down to right down to the end of that one. Hopefully do a wild camp. It's quarter to six. Still loads of people hanging about down here anyway and I've got about two and a half mile walk so I shall catch you later right I'm about a mile and a half in so far I've got lots of sheep spectators just past the dog walker and I'm glad it's flat <laughs> we packs uh, weighed in at uh, 17 kilos this time got two litres of water in it so yeah obviously my food sorry about the wind I might have a little break up there a little shelter before I carry on Well, I made it. Ground isn't that great. Uh, I'm basically probably going to be pitching my tent right around where my chair is. Yeah, I carried that chair in as well. <laughs> and I'm going to sit down and have a cup of tea. And then, pack's not too bad. That's my new one. It cost me what, 35 quid from go outdoors so it's got 17 kilos in it it's reasonably comfortable yeah 2.66 miles it was on the flat though so got well most of it it's got a bit uh, down the end since this this part of the reservoir is a bit more wild see and this is what the problem is like when I was looking on the satellite you know, I'll just put that was still I was looking at this area and it just looks like green grass and even from a distance when I was walking along that side there it looks all green but look at it I mean, I'm very tempted to go and test out and see what that basin that uh, <laughs> sandbar is like you can't on this so basically a little bit breezy now and again but I think right where my chair is I'll just pop my tent up there I don't think anyone's going to be walking past here at the crack of dawn, if they are, that's uh, is what it is. So, I shall sit down and drink my tea. Not hungry at the moment, I had a fairly hearty lunch, but you know, when you're slogging away it takes away your appetite for a while. So what's the time? It's eight minutes past seven. So I've basically got two hours before it starts to get darkish. I know it's not still light enough at half past nine, but I count it as nine. So I've also got my stuff set, or set out by nine. Uh, yeah, probably about. I'll, I'll sit here for a little bit, then I'll uh, get myself organised. Off a breeze, I think it's going to be um, a nice night. I'm probably the breeze is probably going to be beneficial because hopefully I haven't seen any bugs, so 
that's good. Try out the um, I pushed out a couple of extra tags on the tent on tent doors, so I shall try those out. Although this ground's not going to be that great to be putting pegs in, <sighs> probably soft enough, but I'll probably lose them. Uh, and see how that you know how it holds out. It looks it pulls it out a bit more. I think it tends to sag. And here I am. Said I wanted to come back to Scarfield and do a Scarfield Scar House Reservoir and do a wild camp. And here I am. I was very tempted just to plop the tent down by the shelter. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the other side of that, just on the other side of that, um, what do you call it, wall, dam wall. But you've got to go right round, the, right round, and then, the you know, right round there and back out. There's like an inlet over there. I mean, if it was, weather had turned bad, I probably would have just gone and, you know, hunkered down in there. This is nice. Quiet. Just hope my car's parked. Park is <laughs> okay. There are some people staying in that. There's a bunkhouse thing down there, and there was a group staying there. So hopefully, obviously, because there was a few cars in the car park when I arrived. So hopefully, some of those cars are theirs as well. I know they had a lot of them parked actually around the actual building itself not in the car park so hopefully i'll get away with parking overnight there i'll let you know in the morning i guess <laughs> right i've made an executive decision there's nothing around here going to be flat enough to give me a comfortable night's sleep. I mean, no cave and came down here. And I was trying out this little section up here. With the mosses. And even when you put the ground sheet down, I put the ground sheet down several places. It's got a right slope on it. And... Uh, So I'm going to walk back and risk pitching up, I think, either in the shelter or next to the shelter if the ground is flat enough. <coughs> I think being tomorrow being Sunday, as long as I'm up early enough, I should be okay. Now I've got a bit of a, it's a bit swampy over here for a little bit before I get back on the nice track. Switch off. Well I went into the shelter and bloody shit all over the floor. Quite funny because some of it looked far too big to be um, So, I'm just at this picnic table here, and I have a feeling this is going to be a fail. I'm going to go home, I think. It's half past eight now. It's getting blasted by bloody insects on the way back because there wasn't any breeze. But I'm going to make a cup of tea. I can't really see anywhere to pitch the tent. There's just sheep shit everywhere here. And it's probably going to be far too obvious here. And I'm not traipsing up there. I mean, look at it. It's all tussocky and swampy. And it looks nicer on the other side until you probably get up close. <sighs> and there goes my pack falling on the floor. <laughs> I probably won't even post this video. Well, the sun is setting. Just saw poor little baby dead baby rabbit. 
on the side of the road. And it's pretty that shelter was full of shit. I haven't got enough daylight. There's one there, just over there. I'm not going to make it out. There's a little shelter over there as well. I discovered that last time I was here. But I haven't got enough daylight to um, go around and have a look now. I got here earlier, I thought maybe. But anyway, maybe another time. I might come back with a bivvy bag. Because uh, then you don't need such a big area, do you? Trouble is, there is a lot of bugs about. I don't have a. It's not a. It's not a, a hooded one. You know, it's not one of those hooped ones with a netting or anything. Maybe we'll see. Or maybe I'm just not cut out for wild camping. That looks tiny on the camera. It's quite bright. The old moon's out. This time, half past nine. <laughs> I've been heading for that destination, which seems forever, and I'm just not getting there. Oh, honestly. Bloody ridiculous. Well, the sun is setting. <laughs> <laughs> 